Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite the Explosive. When Jonas, you're the man on the stick. I am. We're playing a Madden 20. Ooh. The Dolphamite saga continues. It is. It's my favorite saga. It's mine, too. Is it? It's better than the Cell saga. <laughs> What about? Mm, I don't know. Yeah, no, I don't a, know another saga. It's a Dragon Ball Z reference. Oh, good. It's the <laughs> the what? cool guy saga. <laughs> it was one of the best sagas. Was it? it How really long did you charge up for? How many episodes? Oh, dude, at least five or six episodes of charging. What happens to the rest of the time? Uh, they talk. I'm gonna beat you with the power of my friends. <laughs> so what the hell happens, that man? That sounds like the Everybody lamest ass I've ever heard. Of Dude, that's life. why. That's why I couldn't play through Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> <laughs> it was just so much. My friends will help me, and my heart is pure. And we're gonna beat you. And then is pew, that pew, like pew, literally pew. what it was like? Yeah, dude. A, a freaking Kingdom Hearts, man. Like I played through the first two. And I remember loving them. Well, like yeah, the, they were very, very popular games. I haven't heard anything about three. And the battle systems are fun, but it's such a hokey freaking story, dude. It was just like, it's really oh, meant for, like, children. It, but it's not, though. It's no, but just, I mean, the story makes it very meant because, like, it, like, appeases it, children. It, I, I wouldn't even say that. I just say it's so far up its own butt that it doesn't realize how dumb it is. <laughs> it is. It's fair. It's all right it's like just putting putting an artist in a room by themselves and being like everything you do is wonderful and just keep telling them whatever you do is wonderful they're gonna produce crap because it's just like i'm just doing the one most wonderful thing in the world and i know it's hot take there's probably some kingdom hearts fans out there that you was gonna kill these guys yeah, like that i'm just, gonna, I'm just, I'm just putting on a showcase <laughs> i don't clinic. control the runner that's yeah <laughs> yeah dude we're just, i mean they're keeping all right, Jonas. Uh, ever been in a house fire? We talked about this. Did we? I literally thought this was a new one. Uh, no, because I told the story about the house across the street. It was arson. Was a, I asked you about arson. Oh, and I talked I've never about been in. I've never been in a house. Fire. Have you ever set a house on fire? No, I've never committed, or I've, I've watched arson because it was my neighbor's house. But I've never committed arson. You've never been to jail. Not. I talked about me going to jail. Uh, have you ever the recap episode about all the stuff? No, you no, about? no. I'm just, dude. I'm dude, at a loss. We, you know what we should do? I'm at a freaking loss. If you're loss. having trouble being creative, what? we'll just get a list of questions. Here like, you go. And then you just ask a question. <laughs> Giving me a list. I have one in the cupboard right there. I know you have a list of things. You're weird. I love you. Dog. No, that was from the. Uh, that's from when we used to do the get to know your host episode. We were just asked. I have that same list. Yeah. I, I had the list, and as we as we did them, I crossed them off in highlighter, and then I left them. So if we ever did another one, we would have the same How list. Do you, and, why do you still have that? Because it's like, been sitting in the same spot for two years. <laughs> I haven't even opened up where it is. I know where it is, though. I know, but that's crazy. You still have it. I wouldn't though. go out of my way to throw it away for no reason. I it's mean, useful. I guess that's a point. And it hasn't uh, come across my path. That's since. a point. Yeah. It's like, yeah, man. It's like, I can't talk to you about our rap career because you don't take it seriously. Uh, you're a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> you take it seriously. I absolutely I thought we were going to be rap stars by now. <laughs> Ben. I wrote a whole oh, GD song if only I knew how to play it. on Fiverr and get the beat laid out. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> okay, maybe I. Uh, Mr. Millennial know how to use the damn internet. All right, so I'm lazy. All right, there the truth comes out. I don't know, I'm late. Okay, I'm late. Well, Jonas, look, you know what? I need to decompress. I feel you. You gotta come home and sit and do nothing. Oh my God! Yes, please. Can I please do please. nothing for nine hours? Oh my God! And you're like I didn't have time to do anything. Nope, I was too busy doing my life's work. Oh God! Here comes the, the sack. Taken down. It's funny, Joe says, you know, one of these days I'm going to be dead and I'm going to be like, man, I should have did more nothing. <laughs> Fair. Fair, I can't wait to have that conversation. You're going to wait till you're dead? I can't wait till I have, my, no, I have that conversation with myself. No. Like, yeah, man, I wish I could do more than nothing. I try to stay as busy as possible. I have been on a, since 
the middle of August, so it's been almost three months straight. Yeah. I don't think I've had, I've had like maybe three or four nights where I just sat around and did nothing. I know, I'm exhausted for you. Yeah, you've been doing a lot more too. I've been like, I have, I've been man. pulling you out into the abyss. Yeah. I like to do things on a smaller level though. You do? Yeah. I don't really want to hang out with a whole bunch of people. <laughs> You're like, what you do makes me tired. Yeah, that's too much. Oh, there comes. Oh, God, there was a sack. Oh, toss it to Dino. Oh, I thought he was wide open. Oh, 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 my God. Wow, that's a 96 yarder, friends. Right, let's see. We're talking about Jonas going sports. Talk about karate. Yeah, give, give me a prompt, dude, and we'll go. Give you a prompt. Just give me. Ask me a random question about some random item and we will go. Uh, mother fudger, I have you asked me a random question. What do you feel about the color green? No, we already talked we already did the color episode. No. Yeah. What's your favorite thing that's green? <laughs> money, mother fudger. What do you think? Okay. What do you like most about money? Well, I like the fact that I can buy things for myself and my family. But you don't care about it. So why's your favorite green? Why is it your favorite green? Color? Because what would be the the next best. What's my second favorite color thing? Broccoli, mother fudger? What do you want from me? <laughs> what would, what's your second favorite green thing, mother fudger? can't say that on the channel. No, my freaking jeez, Jonas. Um, I really like, dude, but broccoli? Okay, listen. Being someone who is not a, a vegetable boy, broccoli was always like my secret vegetable that like if you cooked it so it wasn't crispy and then you melted cheese on it, I would eat it. <laughs> Oh, broccoli with velvet up? Oh my god, that was my grandma's jam. Throw dude. up, man. And, stop, uh, stop. So, I'm gonna puke. But now I'm turning more into a vegetable. You know what I ate today for lunch? <laughs> hummus and vegetables. Yeah. I had broccoli, carrots, and cauliflower and dipped it in hummus and ate that for lunch. Hmm, that's cool. I don't really like uh, vegetables in my hummus. Yeah, I, did, I realized I didn't really either. Yeah. I love veggie dip, though. But oh, that stuff's terrible for you, though. It is awful for you, but I absolutely love it. Like spinach, spinach artichoke, artichoke dip, I love. That's pretty good, yeah. I, I'm a, mm. I like, we know how much you like dips. Yeah, I love dipping, dude. <laughs> dipping dots. I, dude. I want to dip my dot in your dipper. If I had to take a Dorito and dip it on you just to get some dip, I'd do it. Oh, uh, dude, I like Doritos and French onion dip. <laughs> My ex-wife taught me that, and I was like, this is amazingly good. Wait, did you say dip or Dick Tracy? I'm dip. Just, okay. Nacho cheese Doritos. Ugh. French onion dip. Ugh. You want to you make my ex-wife's day? Show up with a bag of Doritos and a thing of, a thing of the most generic oh, that French hell onion Hell of a good? Even, che even yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> The cheapest you can find. Bring those and be like, here. Oh, you just wait, man. I'm dude, using that one. You should. Dude. I'm It'll using cost you four that dollars, and she'll be like, oh my god. I'm using tell that. Her one. I told her. Tell, tell her I told. She'd be like, how did you know? Be like, <laughs> tell her Jonas sent you. Yeah, tell her Jonas sent. You. <laughs> Here's, it's a peace offering. Here's 1,200 calories. <laughs> yeah. Way more than that, no, like three thousand. <laughs> I figure twelve hundred till she stops. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah that's true. Because she eats like twenty Doritos and like enough dip on each one. I think yeah, that's about twelve hundred. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a secret. Like I thought you were watching your weight here. <laughs> Speaking of which, Joe, did you hear that uh, vegans are suing a burger? Because they cook them on the same thing. I saw that today, yeah. and you know the thing is, is I was like. I thought Burger King would be smart enough to have a separate grill, but apparently they do, and they will cook it on a separate or a clean grill. I guess if you ask them, apparently that's in the fine print. Oh, I got you. We used to have a. Um, it when I worked at Wendy's, they have a grill that they only cook grilled chicken. In. Really? It's like because there's two grills in every restaurant. One used yeah. for meat. The other one they only yeah they only cook grilled chicken. You know, I mean you don't, they don't we don't cook tons of it. So they didn't order tons of it, but they had a little thing like a, like a steamer thing that went over top and you put like four or five of them at a time. You know what I hate about working at fast food jobs? Because I worked at Mr. Heroes in the in the mall. Yeah. Is when you get that film of just like burnt meat to try this, and you have to take like the scraper yeah, and it, scrape the yeah, grill yeah, till you get like this curl kind of looks like a turns, Swiss. It turns silver again. Yeah, it's like a Swiss roll of just like meat dirt. 
<laughs> yeah, it's like a meat. Uh, it's like a meat curl. Yeah, it's gross. Do you see how we can just talk about the color green and have conversation? No, Jonas, I don't see it. Yeah, I'm just saying. Dude, no, no. I'm just saying it works. It does not work. It absolutely does. Prove it again. All right. What do you think about uh, Nihai Sox? <laughs> I jump. Oh my God, I'm so mad. I'm freaking mad now, Jonas. Why? Because I hate that. You hate me? I don't like a sock. Honestly, Jonas. Are most of your socks that tall, though? You watch your mouth, all right? Oh, wow. <laughs> my socks. My, my socks come up to, like, mid-ankle, right? All those fancy socks it, are, like, they're knee highs, dude. Those aren't, they don't come up to my knee. They encompass your calf, I'm right? not walking around with, like, knee pauldrons for socks, Jonas. They, they come up to, okay, so, like, above the ankle. Okay, so maybe, okay, hold on. Three-quarter socks. Okay, three-quarter socks. I don't like it when the socks are, like, half ankle. Because then I, I wear. they get itchy around my ankles. I never do, but, yeah. I'm not sock boy. I wear them because I need them. I don't want them to wear. Yeah, you wear like the short socks. I wear these are called quarters because I don't. Wear, I wear the ones that like, there's shorter ones than this that you can't see the sock in the shoe. Oh. I, and I don't like the shoe rubbing on my ankle. But these are tall enough that they stick up out the shoe so they don't rub. But they're not. I, I have really big calves, so I can't wear the socks. Don't no, touch your calves. I would love to wear the fancy socks. I can't. They don't fit. I can't get them up over my calf. Jonas, stop showing me your calf. I have a, uh, you know, like a lot of times people go to the gym, you're like, oh, that dude skips leg day. Like, I don't do leg day, and people are like, what's up with your calves? No, you It's called to. being fat your whole life. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> They're like, fair. you're not a big guy, but your calves are as big as your quads. I mean, fair enough, Jonas. Don't skip leg day, though, Jonas. I don't. You said you don't you don't do leg day. No, you? no, guys do that. Oh, because they'll be all buff up top and they have these real skinny little calves. Right. Calves are like the hardest. Like I have literally had people at the gym, which is freaking awkward to me. If you like, what are you doing with calves, bro? Because <laughs> like, stop. I'm looking at your calves again. Yeah. I'm trying to like, but we keep talking about your goddamn like, calves. You just, I go, I walk. <laughs> They're like you don't do you don't do like I can do it. So I'm like no. Do you know what workout I've started doing lately, Jonas? What's that? I started doing my uh. Okay, I have. I'm doing them right now. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> I'm looking at your cat, my calves, dude. Don't don't look at my eyes and be like I'm doing kegels right now. No, look me in the eye while I do them. Oh. <laughs> What? Ill, dude. Dude, I'm like I'm very, I have a very strong like sense of <laughs> nausea and like <laughs> thinking about looking in your eyes while you're doing kegels makes me physically intense and release. Intense <laughs> and release. Anyways, what exercise? No, that's really the one I'm starting uh, to do. It literally is. Oh. You know, it's funny. This is okay. Look, Jonas, I'm gonna share with you a, a little piece of trivia that I learned when I was younger. Yeah. I remember that I had, okay, I, I wouldn't say I was gun shy. I was just like, I was a little quick on the trigger. Oh, okay. All right? So I was a little quick on the trigger when I was younger, right? And naturally, as all young boys are. Well, I learned, I learned that if I was quick on the trigger, but if I did my Kegel strong enough, I could hold it back. Yeah, that's the Another point good game. for guys. Is it? Yeah. I thought this was a secret. Well, it might be a secret to them, I mean, Jonas. It's, it's, I mean, that's the, the end game is you can control it better. No, I mean, like, I would be like, oh, and then I'd be like, no, mother. And I would just, like, with all my might, like, freaking Goku versus Majin Buu, I would just freaking hold it in. So I would actually, like, it was like the... The, the rope was trying to get out, dude. And I was like, no, not today. And I could push it back into my balls. <laughs> wow. That seems like that would cause a plumbing issue. <laughs> it may have. <laughs> I think I may have did it one time too many. It doesn't seem healthy. But listen, <laughs> it would work. I bet. And then it was porn star mode from then on out, man. There was no way you could get me to shoot. And this may be a little personal. I don't care. So, like, so if you hold the rope in, yeah. where's it go? No, no, no. <laughs> okay. Can you just keep going? Yeah. That's the, that was the beautiful oh, thing. Oh, so it's like once you throw the rope, that's what yeah, causes the, the that's destruction what, of the... That's what, that's what I call porn star mode, man. Oh, wow. So, that's, I mean, yeah. I get, okay. If you can Kegel hard enough... 
to keep the rope within, you reach an upper level and then it's of like, performance. And then it's like 10 times as long. Woo, brother. And then it don't even matter. It's like you can just be like, oh, be like a kid in a candy exactly. store. Exactly. I've rode some fillies pretty hard in my day there, cowboy. Holy Jesus. <laughs> that is the most foul thing. What don't ever talking? say rode some fillies cowboy to me again. I was talking about horses. I know, but I just don't want to, nothing. I thought we were talking about roping horses in equestrian. Yeah, we're Jones. racing ropings, Broncos. But yeah. It's a it's a real thing, man. Um, in my later years that I am in now, I have found that that is exceedingly more difficult to do than it was back then. But uh, you're a young beer old man, then. Yeah, but uh, I've been practicing my kegels. Dude, no, don't you ever talk about my team. I've got. Dare put my. They haven't even crossed this T yet, my friend. All right. Yeah. What are you trying to do? No, don't say you're feeling me. I feel like you. Are you patronizing my tea? I am not. Let's do. I say we go to the doctor and get a tea count. I don't care. Let's see who's got more tea. I am not the one who is like, I don't need that much. No, let's go get some tea counts. I don't, it doesn't matter if you have 10 times the tea as me. I'm like, I'm all about it. And you're like, sometimes you don't need it that much. And I'm like, speak for yourself. <laughs> Wait a minute. You think your tea's higher than mine? That's it. Me and Jonas are getting tea counts. <laughs> all right. That is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, share the video with your friends because we know that they want to see us too. Talk about my tea. But for Jonas. TNT and T Dynamite. <laughs> There's no T in Jonas. It's three and no. <laughs> <laughs> Los Angeles. Out. They're guaranteed.